We should be at the forefront of what is right, not because it involves Muslims, but because it involves the conflict between right and wrong. And we should always be on the side of right because the side of right is the side of Islam. That is the side of right. It is the side of Islam and Muslims stand by right. And the Prophet wasallam said in a sound hadith, on the, if anyone is treacherous to a dhimmi, which is a person of a non-Muslim faith, according to Imam Madik, it can be any faith, not just Abrahamic faith, but any faith. Buddhist can be dhimmiyun. And that has been the active practice of our tradition. He said, if anyone is treacherous to a dhimmi, any Muslim oppresses a dhimmi, I will be the dhimmi's advocate on the day of judgment. Our Prophet ﷺ will stand next to the non-Muslim against the Muslim because we are not about tribe, we are about principle. And if the principle goes against the tribe, we say goodbye to tribe. And that's the truth, and that is Islam. And we have to be witnesses unto humanity for the sake of Allah, walau ala anfusikum, even if it's against yourselves. And we've got plenty to testify against in our community. Too much. But it's time that we stop being in denial or pretending people say to me, you shouldn't tell people about uh, the problems of the Muslim. Don't say that to the non-Muslim. They read it every single day in their newspapers. They see it in the, in the Muslim world constantly. And when we sit there and pretend like these things aren't happening, we look like fools. We look like hip hypocritical, lying fools. And they see right through us. And it's people that will stand up for the truth in spite of all these things that will be recognized as people that those people want to listen to and ultimately that is what we want. We want the ears because the ears are the inroads to the hearts.